Morning guys, it is just before six o'clock on a Wednesday morning and we're gonna head for a dive. Now we did have the threat of a cyclone a week and a half or so ago, Cyclone Jasper. So always south of systems like that, the rain tends to be, tends to be more windier north, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, definitely rain south of those systems. So we did cop a little bit of rain here. So the viz isn't gonna be fantastic. It's why we're leaving so late. It's um, waiting for the sun to be nice and high so that we can have a good look as we're cruising along and see if we can find any viz basically. A couple of islands in mine. I'm gonna fill both the tanks up so we got as much range as we want. Yeah, just basically hunt around for some viz. Hopefully we can find some viz at the closer island so we don't have to travel so far. And there's heaps of cool looking rocks and structure and stuff on Navionics. I've never dived it, but I just had a bit of a look on Navionics. And yeah, hopefully we can find a fish. Being the Kai, sort of anything's on the cards really. So the boat's pretty well sorted. We just need a little bit of, oh, I need a sounder actually. Yeah, apart from the sounder, the boat's all sorted. Need a little bit of ice. Um, pretty sure I just saw Ben roll up. Morning. So with the boat in the water, my train of thoughts were we've had a heap of rain in Mackay, all of that sort of pushed north, all the weather sort of north of us at the moment best chance of us finding any viz is going to be south. So that's what we did, we headed south. So it was just Ben and myself on this trip. We identified some spots on Navionics. Between both of us, we chucked the marks into the sounder and just headed out straight to the first mark and we just got super lucky, found a couple of pockets of really good viz. We were greeted by schools of bait, heaps of bait on the pressure points. GTs, Mac Tuna, Golden Trevally, Grey Mackerel, Spanish Mackerel. A lot of pelagic action on these rocks and it was really, really awesome to see. Now you'll see Ben take the first Grey Mackerel for the day here. Great fish, these things taste awesome raw. They're great just with a bit of salt and pepper on the barbie and they are awesome smoked as well. Now I had nothing but trouble with my GoPro on this day, so there's a little bit of footage for me, but not as much as what I'd hoped. Here's another shot of Ben, awesome Spanish. Sort of, I wouldn't say late in the season, you sort of still get Spanish this time of year, obviously, because there's one in his hand there, but a good sized fish hanging around with the greys. Now just after Ben shot the Spanish, I shot what was to be my PB grey mackerel. And unfortunately, the GoPro failed on me, so no underwater footage of that one. Need a lift? <laughs> so we had a bull shark move in that was acting way too curious. Just watch they don't all fall out the back. Yeah, I got them. So Ben just waited on the rock, so I ducked over and grabbed the boat, brought it over to him, and we loaded the fish in. Well, that was interesting. Hot <laughs> little session. There was that much bait, didn't even need a flasher. Everywhere we went, we had a flasher. Look at that for a drape. It's not far off. How good's that? Fuck. Go find another okay. spot. Yeah, leave this one. <laughs> Sharks in there. Wow. Alright. Now you just can go on the ice. <laughs> So with the location change, very, very similar ground and obviously similar fish. Grey mackerel here. I hardly had to dive again for this one. Dove down, managed to stain it. Now ideally, you wouldn't do what I'm doing here. You wouldn't have just left it down there and just slowly pull it in. The reason why I'm doing that is because I know that Ben's down there with his camera on, getting a nice shot, hopefully. And Ben has managed to do just that. As well as that, this fish is stoned, so it's not crashing around and carrying on. If it was, I definitely would have pulled it straight in and brain spiked it as quickly as I can. If you don't want them sharks moving in, they love those vibrations in the water and it just brings them straight in. So here we go, Ben's camera again. So he's looking through the fusies here. Now I've reviewed this footage a couple of times, obviously while I've been editing the video. I can see a smaller black spot tusk fish swimming around there. I can see Ben sort of half looking at it as well. And this nice bigger model comes cruising through. Just like they do, the tuskies will do that. They'll just sort of, they won't be there and then all of a sudden they are. They just sort of come out of the murk and just sort of coast through. Ben got a really good shot on this guy. 
So as you can see here, that little bit of thrashing from the fish and the shot of the gun brings a small shark in. So if you're diving like we are today, both of us are in the water, the boat's anchored up. These float boats are great for this sort of diving. You get the fish up, out of the water, less chance of attracting sharks, and you definitely lose way less fish. Now, like what I was saying, I was having nothing but dramas with these GoPros. So when I shot this second grey mackerel, the GoPro just turned off halfway through the dive, lost all that footage. I am thinking about upgrading to DJI's, so if you're already using the DJI's, using them for diving footage, surface footage as well, let me know your thoughts on them. I'm really keen to have a look at them. I'm really keen to grab one. If you've got a contact for them as well, please reach out. Now, if you've come across coral trout a fair bit while you're diving, you definitely would have spotted this guy before I dove down here. Just sort of milling around up on top of a bommie. They'll tend to do that from time to time. They're not always sitting down underneath stuff or trying to hide from you. They'll sit up on top. They'll try and sort of stake their claim a little bit. And unfortunately for this guy, he just gave me a really easy shot. Now see that white shell on the bottom right there? Ben said that as he dove down, that tusky was sitting there just chewing on that shell. As Ben got closer, dropped the shell, went to go over the edge, and Ben got a really good shot into it. A great fish and a great way to end another awesome day out. I really hope you enjoyed that footage from the day out on the Haynes Hunter. Now, before I let you go, I want to show you something quickly. Get your opinion on it. I want you to leave some comments for me. After my blue water video from a couple of videos back, uh, it was pretty evident. I had a lot of comments, a lot of PMs, a lot of info sent to me. I need to get a dedicated blue water gun. Now, what I've picked up is a Rife Marauder 63 inch. I took advantage of those Adreno Black Friday sales. They have great discounts over Christmas Adreno. I've got an 8mm Hunt shaft there with a the Hunt slip tip to go on it, some cable, some new rubbers. So the gun needs to be fully rigged up. Leave a comment if you want me to film it all. Do a bit of a tutorial, because I've never dealt with cable before, so I'll be learning as well, so I'll film it all. Apart from that, guys, if you're in North Queensland, I hope you're escaping this heat, because it is bloody hot today. Thanks so much for your support, guys. If you haven't already, click that little subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want to see the full rigging video of this gun, and I'll catch us on the next episode. Cheers.